Picture this. You're a patient in a palliative care ward, facing the reality that you don't have long to live. And just like every morning, two volunteers approach with a trolley full of alcohol. Champagne, wine, spirits, everything's on the tab. They call it the happy hour trolley. And it's rolled out in palliative care wards right across Sydney. Palliative actually comes from the Latin word pallium, which literally means to cloak. But to cloak what? And who is cloaking whom? This is the focus of my research. The happy hour trolley is itself a kind of cloak, and it serves different purposes. It can act to soothe a person's pain. It can also shroud against the reality of death. But is the patient the only person wearing the cloak, or does the carer wear a cloak too? My research seeks to answer this question by focusing on the relationship between volunteer and patient. I'd like to share a story. One morning, I join a volunteer, let's call him David, on a tour of the happy hour trolley. We roll up to Jim. He's delighted to see us and requests some champagne. He explains that the glass must be chilled and champagne poured, just so. Champagne's always been Jim's favourite drink, but because of his stomach cancer, he stops at just one sip. David turns to leave and says to Jim, see you next week, mate. I won't be here next week, replies Jim. Both Jim and David wear a cloak in this story, but for different reasons. For patients like Jim, the happy hour trolley serves to comfort and conceal, making home of a strange place and distracting from the present by reliving memories of happier times. And for volunteers like David, the happy hour trolley is the perfect icebreaker. With a glass of champagne, he can still give care whilst also maintaining an arm's length from death. And comments like, see you next week, are really said to protect the carer. That's because when we see someone dying, we see in them our own death, as well as the death of our loved ones. Ultimately, carers have needs and anxieties of their own. And as they cloak patients, they also cloak themselves. My aim is to deepen our understanding of these vulnerabilities and to work with them. By caring for carers as well as patients, I hope to enhance the experience of end-of-life care for all involved. Thank you.